Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at all the new and exciting Class A gas and diesel motorhomes for 2022. Will and I, we just got back from the Hershey RV show and we searched the whole show to find anything that was new or exciting. We know you guys are gonna enjoy this lineup that we put together for you and we're starting in three, two, one. So this one isn't new. We just haven't been able to get our hands on it. It is new over the last year or two. Uh, it's a Allegro Bus 35 CP. Again, this competing with the new airs and everything, trying to get super luxury at a super small spot. Cool. So let's check out the inside. All right. You know, the Allegro Bus has a certain quality and reputation. When you step into every Allegro Bus, it yeah. is signed by Mr. Bob Tiffin himself. That's cool. It is. And um, again, nice cockpit area right here. People want small, but people don't want to sacrifice quality. And that's what this Allegro bus is. And that's what this Numar is. And again, I was talking to the factory rep and he was saying, oh, well, we've had them when I worked for General. But I mean, they show up on the lot and they were gone within a day or two. Gone in 60 seconds. Which was really frustrating. <laughs> so. Again, this isn't new for 22, but it is exciting to actually get to see one in person. And again, you can tell that it's smaller, but it's still an Allegro bus, which is so very nice. Very nice, yeah. You can tell the quality with the woodwork, with the toilet placement, and it's actually a really smart, well-designed floor plan at that. Yeah. It's not like it's sacrificing too much of anything. Um, it's just a great combination of size and quality. For sure. Let's take a look at the next diesel. So for the Integra Class A diesels, they haven't done too many changes for 2022. The biggest change, what's really new and exciting in my opinion, is this beautiful new paint job on the Cornerstone. Cornerstone is their pinnacle. It's their top of the line for a diesel pusher. Uh, it sits on the Spartan K3 chassis, 605 horsepower. But if you look at the paint jobs, they've been doing all these swoops and swirls. And so what's really exciting is, it's more of a jagged look, more of a dagger look. It looks really, really good. It does. The insides haven't changed too much, but I still think it's it's a cornerstone well. You know what that means? What's that? It's worth taking a look at. Of course. Now, I thought this was new, some new interior colors though, isn't it? Or no? Well, yeah, but I okay. mean, like the floor plan. Right, right. So as you can tell, it's beautiful. It's luxury, bath and a half unit. Very nice table set up here. Does have the Firefly integration. Nice half bathroom right here. Porcelain tile floors, 20,000 nice. 20, pounds of towing. It's just super nice. We got some Art Deco back here. Nice king size bed. Very nice bedroom. And then, well, take a look at that shower. All right, I think this bathroom is well, really makes this a great floor plan. Nice big shower, great toilet position. You have some closet, good closet space in here. Nice big sink, plenty of storage. And of course, a stack of washer and dryer. Of course. Well, let's go take a look at the next one. All right. So next up in the Class A diesels, it's, it's not really new. This is the Thor Aria 3901. But I was talking with my friend Dave Daniels, sure. factory rep, and he said that there is new interior features. So we're going to check them out. So tell us a little bit about Aria, and then we'll go inside. Yeah, Aria, uh, bread, and bud, bread and butter for our product right now. Uh, 3901, it's your traditional bath and a half diesel pusher. Everybody has something similar, but we got quite a few good features in here uh, that set ourselves apart. 2022, we have new exteriors as okay. well. Okay. This is one of the, the new ones here. It's, um, Looks very nice. nice. And uh, yeah, let's pop inside here Perfect. real quick. A couple years ago, we went to um, this cabinet color and this interior design oh, look. Right. With the, uh, the Regatta cabinet, our studio collection. Um, also this year, we have a lighter wall board. So we went to this much lighter wall board. Okay. It really helps that cabinetry kind of pop there. Um, you know, we've always been traditional, no carpet throughout. Mm. Um, nice big kitchens, kitchens and bathrooms are what sell motor homes. Yeah. Yep. Homes and real estate. Yep. It's even more true here in uh, the RV business. So let me show you this uh, this new bathroom that we have back here. Oh, wait. 
Art Deco. And we got the Art no. Deco, always. <laughs> so new bathroom design. Um, originally with the 3901, we had a washer and dryer here, a single sink and a shower up front. Okay. We took the washer and dryer out, added the dual sinks, and then we were able to build the shower right. back wow. in the back. So smart. now that's, much that's deeper smart. shower and we actually gained more wardrobe. Nice. And so washer dryers shower, in more the bedroom wardrobe. Now. Yep, washer and dryers out of the rear cap and solid surface. Wow. I love that. It was never solid surface. So those are all new features here for 2022. Great. And that's new and exciting. And when it comes down to the floor plans for the Aria, I mean, if it's not broke, don't fix them. It's their best seller for Thor. So Dave, we appreciate a couple minutes. No well, let's take a look at the next Class A diesel. All right. Great, so the next diesel push that we're gonna show you is the newest and hottest in demand. This is the all new 2022 Fleetwood Frontier. They actually have two floor plans and we're gonna look at both of them here at the Hershey RV show today. And with us is Mike. He's from the uh, Fleetwood YouTube channel and he's been in a video before. Yes. So what's new and exciting for 2022? Well, the Frontier is a brand new product that we released this year, 2022. Perfect. On both of these floor plans, we have two floor plans. They both come with brake sink. Okay. Which is your standalone air supply for your supplementary braking. So now when you go pick up your unit from the dealer, if you have your blue ox or whatever you have hooked up, yep. you can automatically hook it up to your uh, vehicle and be ready to tow safely. And what Mike was telling me off camera is that's something new and exciting for all Fleetwood and Holiday Rambler diesel pushers, correct? Correct. Yep. I love it. So tell us a little bit about this. Again, we're making these quick. Right. So this is a 34 GT Frontier. It's that shorter compact floor plan. We do have a 36 SS, but we have some of the industry leading um, storage with the print style doors. This is built on the XCR chassis. It's a raised rail chassis, 340 horsepower. Yeah, it's just a great unit, full flat uh, floor on the inside. Basically, it gives you all those high-end amenities you need to full-time at a really reasonable cost. Let's check out the inside. Now, you guys are going to look at this and say, man, this looks awfully familiar. This is what we call a sister product to the Holiday Rambler Nautica, which is really exciting because Andrea loves the Fleetwood products, yes. but that Holiday Rambler Nautica was her favorite. So now you can get that in the Fleetwoods. So tell us what we got going on here. So, like said, we talked about out there, it's a 100% flat floor. A lot of nice. folks are really liking this, where they don't have that step up to trip over when they're going to the restroom or getting up in the morning. Um, so this unit here has an aqua hot. That is extremely important to mention this price range. So all of your unlimited hot water and nice cool heat on the inside yeah. without depleting all the ambient humidity. It's, it, cool and it's cooling off here right now. It is. Yeah. Let me and check then, out this bathroom. Yeah, so this is made to be a step above the Pacero. Correct. Yep. Step below the Discovery or the Pacero LXE? Uh, or, Discovery. Okay. So you'd have your Pacero, your Frontier, your Discovery. Discovery and then your Discovery LXE. Perfect. So for 2022, they've taken away the Pacero LXE. Correct. Cool. Perfect. Okay. Then nice. stackable, stackable washer, washer and dryer in both floor plans. Awesome. Correct. Nice woodwork, nice color. What's really Big unique king is bed. yeah, king double bed. slides. When we were in the Nautica, they had the white wood with the white furniture, and this yeah. one's more brown. This like a brand new wood for 2022 Got as well it. as the English chestnut. Yeah, it, so looks it looks good. Really nice in person. A lot of character in the wood. It looks good. There is a lot of character too. in the wood. Yeah. Perfect. Let's check out that next floor plan. Okay. This is unique to the Frontier. As you mentioned, sister products, Matt. The Nautica will not have a 36 SS. Oh. Floor plan. So this one's, and, and we've mentioned that when we talked about sister products. And, you know, they're very similar but also always a little different. So kind of like, you know how Fleetwood has the Bounder, Holiday Rambler has the Vacationer, right. but Fleetwood, you can get the Southwind, which is like a Bounder Plus, There's a, and you can't get that in the Holiday Rambler. Right. So it's always a little unique. So lights on in here? Yep. Nope. Uh, front seal. Front. There we oh, go. There we go. Oh, here's the white wood. Wow. Uh -oh. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Wow. So this is another brand new wood for 2022. Wow, whoa, wow. Okay, <laughs> I love what I'm seeing. Thank you, thank you, thank you for doing that. That's cool. That's what we've been asking for. That's what we've been wanting. Nobody freaking sits at the table anymore and eats. And for the people that can, you pull that out and then you make it that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Customers mm -hmm. have been wanting this adaptable table 
mm. and a lot of floor plans, so we're starting to incorporate it. What else we got going on here? So Looks we like a pull out peninsula. 2022 wood. This is a winter fog. So it's real similar to the heritage that we had in yeah. 2021. Yeah. But there's a gray glazing on it. Yeah. So it holds up the fingerprints better. And okay. then the accent, gray accents. Dude. Um, again, complete flat floor. It's a 36 foot uh, floor plan it's with amazing. a full flat floor. It's amazing. Has a 111 inch, I believe, sofa. Has two recliners on the back side over here. Will, Power. lay down on this sofa. <laughs> this is amazing. It's bigger than a king bag. Yeah, seriously. Sure. Yeah. Look at that. That's awesome. That is cool. And then to wrap it all up with the bedroom. Bedroom, we have a. We're taking too long, Mike. After oh, five oh. minutes, you guys got to write us a check. <laughs> oh shoot, half bath here. Half bath, yes. This is a bath and a half unit. You got your side by side washer and dryer here. Hang on, real quick. Are we going out for dinner sometime this week? We should. Okay, okay. I we're like it. we're gonna continue the video then. Because <laughs> if not, my battery was about to die. Right. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yep, just uh. The master bath is back here. This All is amazing. My pocket doors. Do us the yes. honor. Oh, goodness. Would you do us the honor? Oh, well, Matt, I think you know what I'm going to say. I mean, you are a YouTuber now. It, well, it is porcelain. I give this a prime pooping position. Bing! Oh, great job, Mike. <laughs> and honestly, I am great job on this motorhome. This is beautiful and amazing. Yes, it is. Perfect. So that's the uh, Fleetwood Frontier. Well, there's still time. We're going to take a look at some more diesel pushers. All right. Next up is the all new Newmar Canyon Star front engine diesel with a toy hauler. This is absolutely amazing. It's a motorhome toy hauler and the diesel engines in the front. Nice. So. Let's check it out. Beautiful full body paint. Oh yeah. So they discontinued the Canyon Star for being a gas motorhome on the Newmar line. Okay. Which I think that was a really smart move because it was starting to get pricey. Like a Newmar Canyon Star gas was more expensive than like a Coachman diesel. Oh. But now they're filling a segment that hasn't been done yet. Um, or it hasn't been done for a long time. It's a front engine diesel and i can't oh there it is no there lights it is. Man, oh there we go oh yeah we're good we're good now and then look at this what's crazy about this motorhome is it's still giving you a sofa a dinette right decent kitchen, that's what i was about to say decent bathroom you have a decent bedroom in here like you are making sacrifices For sure. to get that toy hauler part but it's still so it's not nice. All about the all about the Art Deco? No. No. Oh. What was it all about? No, it's not all about the garage either though, which is nice. Right. And then what is nice, see that's crazy. They didn't even need to put that dinette in there. Because you do got the yeah. place right here that can make a dinette. You have another TV out here and everything. And it is really, really nice. The one thing that it's not doing that maybe it does, and I don't know how. I'm patio. not seeing a patio. Yeah. A patio would be super cool. But it would. This is an awesome diesel, not a diesel pusher, but a diesel puller. <laughs> Will, let's go take a look at the next one. All right. Next up for Class A diesels is going to be this all new Tag Axer Berkshire XLT 45 CA. This is a 45 foot tag axle bunk motorhome. Now, you guys have seen us have do a Berkshire before. But we've never done the XLT and wow, look at what they did here. Always the double seats are in the front. They put the kitchen up front with the dinette. The double seats down here, holy crap. This is where your bunk beds are. Oh my gosh. So if you guys seen the video where I went camping with John in his Newmar Dutch Star, that was the only motorhome that gave you the double sofas, bunk beds, and two full bathrooms until I saw this one. Look at this, guys. Two full bathrooms. Bunk beds, two sofas, two full bathrooms. This is super exciting, and it's a beautiful motorhome. And the Berkshire XLT doesn't get a lot of love, um, but as you can see, 
It's a great diesel pusher and it's just an awesome floor plan. Let's go take a look at the next diesel. Great, so we're about halfway through the video and I want to take a quick second to thank the sponsor, My Waggle. My Waggle is an RV pet digital thermostat monitor that tells you the temperature, the heat index, or if you lose power. It's all powered through the Verizon network and at the end of this video, we have an actual customer testimonial from the Hershey RV show. Normally when we talk about My Waggle, it's 40% off, but today until the end of the month, it is 50% off. So big shout out to our sponsor, for my waggle use our promo code down below for 50 percent off let's take a look at the next class a motorhome so next one i'm really excited about because they made this announcement all the way during the tampa show as well well they had one at the tampa show but still i didn't get a really good chance to actually see it in person this is the all new winnebago journey their new diesel pusher uh for winnebago it's really really nice this is a shorter one and then they have the longer one there. We're gonna step inside of the boat. Okay. Look at this. Now this is wow, a this breath is nice. of fresh air. Wow, look at that. Look, oh, give what? me this. Look behind you. Look how much wow. headspace you have oh, up yeah, there. Oh, that goes up, that's cool. That is so unique. Yeah. It makes it so you're not bashing your head. So this is a prototype. Says who? 34N prototype for seeing here at Matt's RV reviews. Um, you got so that to. means things could change if you're Correct. seriously interested in ordering this, make sure all the details are worked out. Correct. You have this, the dinette. This is so nice. Again, people are looking for smaller luxury diesel right. pushers. And this is checking it off the box. King size bed back here, wow really smart design with the tv right there on the swing arm feels good to be home you got the nice king size bed the the office area very very nice and then look at this stackable washer dryers wow and and the look in here it's so and again it's just for the length for it being such a small motor home yeah i mean okay so look and then this drops down oh, so wow. the kitchen kind of continues if needed and again, people are like, oh, well, I want to watch TV. I don't I don't want to watch TV while they're in the kitchen. It's one of those things where, you know, you shouldn't get a bigger motorhome then. Right. So, you know, to make this work with it being so small is really, really awesome. Yeah. Let's check out the bigger one. All right. Oh, look what else they're doing. They're not putting uh, door handles in. Yeah. They're making it, it's, it's uh, gonna be an all electric door. Or do you push this button here? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But still. Maybe it's locked. It's locked, it's locked? It's locked, but it's push of a button for the storage doors to come That's out. That's cool. And again, it's just a cleaner look, more refined look. Really, really nice. Now, I don't believe this is a prototype. I believe this is the real deal. Okay. slide out needs to come out a little bit more but again traditional floor plan double sofas this yes. is so nice because i haven't seen a diesel pusher do a design like this kitchen is very are different. you with winnebago i am go, go into the back shower that's back shower will okay what do you nice half that? bath right here oh so you make this he makes it well. Oh, nice. All the way to the back. Bedroom right here, nice king bed. And storage and everything. Wow, this is a great bathroom overall. Right, and there's no step up into the bathroom. No step up. Very nice shower. Yeah, it's gonna be Look at the head tall. height in here. Dude, wow. Will, see, you got some storage in here. Will, you're not this even close. Crazy. I'm even under the, um, yeah. Um, this is head, which really is tall. What chassis are you putting this on? This is a Freightliner XCM chassis. XCM, so like Fleetwood does. It's a we're modular chassis. Modular. We make the all the center. Okay, perfect. So not like Fleetwood, but kind of like Fleetwood. And so you guys are making it with like a lower storage, so a higher ceiling. It's actually everything. So we're thirteen three total height. Okay. So you have 31 inches of pass through for storage. Wow. So we're, we're the, the uh, highest for the industry. Plus 
the, the, the lines, the nice clean through lines that we have here. Yeah. You can attribute it to Kim Mann, our interior designer. Okay. So if you wouldn't put it in your house, why would put it in your RV? Right, right, for sure. And it looks great. It does, yeah. Cool. Let's check out the next one. So next is the 2022 Tiffin Phaeton 36SH. Again, what, what the industry is going to, everybody has 45 footers and those are always the maxed out ones. But all these manufacturers, they're trying to figure out how luxury can they get and how small of a profile they can get. Right. So this is really, you know, it's crazy because it's still a huge motorhome, but in class A diesel world, this is a smaller diesel pusher. Right, for sure. In, just look, look at how those beautiful. Yeah, it's just so beautiful. <laughs> Now the Phaeton is the number one selling diesel pusher in the country because it's that perfect combination of quality and price when it does come to a diesel pusher. So something that I, if you stand over there, Will, okay. something that I want to point out to people. So this is your traditional floor plan setup. This whole double sofa. Right, thing. right. And people want this and people do want the big kitchen. But again, they don't want the 40 footers, the bath and a half, yeah. the 45 footers. So they've done all this and done like the midship bathroom. Okay. What is nice is with the slide outs open, it's still pretty spacious. Of course, yeah. And again, you know, if we were doing a review on this, the negative is the bathroom is small. Yeah. But it has to be small if you want a 36 footer. Right. And then to wrap it up, Will, here's what I love about this unit. It's still big. It's short and big stout. It's open. It's feeling. open. Yes. So another dislike would probably be, I can tell instantly, this motorhome is going to be very tight to walk through with the slide outs in. For sure. But it's okay. That's only when the slide outs are in. Here's what I will say. What I am loving about what they're doing here is they're making you a smaller luxury motorhome while not sacrificing the Tiffin Phaeton name. That's which right. That's why it's the number one selling diesel pusher. So next for Class A diesel pushers is one of my favorite, and it's an entry-level diesel pusher, the Coachman Sports Coach. Now this is a brand new floor plan. It's the 354 QS quad slide. I mean, what I love about this unit is that it is an amazing entry-level price. It plan. is. Look at that full body painter, I love it. Dude, Coachman, you know, it's so funny. Like, like this isn't my favorite floor plan of these. They do have other floor plans. Right. But again, this is their newest floor plan. And let me tell you, the way Coachman does this at a price point uh -huh. is absolutely amazing. Back up some and, and just show. Okay. Look at how nice and big this is and spacious and open. Right. And again, the quality isn't horrible. The look isn't horrible. And I'm saying that and you're all like, Matt, why are you being such a critic? Because this is cheaper than some class a gas motorhomes right. and it's a diesel that's what i love about it uh one thing i hate about this floor plan not that we're doing that theater seats with the side tv yeah joe mullins <laughs> my homie nice bathroom there yeah very nice our shower again guys we're gonna link down some sports coach videos for you and sports coach has been around for a while but this is their new floor plan that's new and exciting. And again, to get this motor home, I don't even know what the selling price is for it to show, but I know what the MSRPs are. And to get it at this price is absolutely amazing. Here we go. Joe Mullins. <laughs> nah, it doesn't say it. Oh, man. But still, to get this motor home at an entry level price point is absolutely amazing. Will, let's check out the next diesel. All right. And finally, for Class A Diesel, something I'm really surprised about is the Jayco Embark. Now, they made this for 2019 and for 2020, and they kind of stopped making it for 2021. So I'm really surprised, you know, going on Jayco's website, I didn't see this. So I'm really surprised to see one here at the Hershey Show. And the Jayco Embark is going to be sister products to the uh, Integra Riata. Riata, yeah. Yep, it does sit on a K1 chassis, pass-through storage, good looking paint job. And what's real nice is, even though this is a diesel pusher, they're still doing that farmhouse interior look. Yeah. Kind of. Nice cockpit. Not farmhouse, Will, I, I said farmhouse. It's just a wider look. A little more modern. 
Yeah, nice kitchen space, dining area, fireplace. Coming down, you have the bathroom. Toilet right there. Shower here. And then in the back, nice king bed. Great bedroom setup, honestly. Yeah, really nice floor plan. And then for those of you who are wondering, um, this is Jayco's only diesel pusher. Really? And it's more of the entry level price range. Right. It, it is a step above the Palazzo and the first sports coach because it does sit on that Spartan chassis. But again, Jayco's kind of leaving the higher end diesels to their Integra division. Right. But that's it. That's everything. That's all the Class A diesel pushers. That's new and exciting for 2022. So next up is the Forest River FR334 DS. This is a newer floor plan, but it's not new for 2022. But you guys haven't seen me do an FR3 since 2018. So I really wanted to show it to you. You got the new graphic design. I really like it. Kind of looks like an arrow. Yeah. Shooting, like a shooting arrow. And the FR3 is an awesome price point motorhome. It is, yes. Now, the 34DS is the newest floor plan in the lineup for FR3, but I love this. The oversized dinette, decent sized kitchen. This is 50 amps, so it does have the two AC units, okay? You got your TV there, and then, Will, hang on. Yeah. Storage, look at all that. Entry. Yep. Fireplace with theater seats directly across. Look, look at, at that. that. Look, we've been buying waters. I know. That's so nice. Though. Half bath. Bath and a half. Again, this is for those people that want this awesome floor plan who don't want to spend a ton of money. King size bed. Okay. And then the wrap nice it all wardrobe up. area. Yes, sir. <laughs> is a full bathroom back here. We have the toilet right here, and then the 36 by 30 shower right there. Just a great overall unit, and again. What makes the FR3 great is the overall price. Well, let's take a look at the next Class A. So next is the Vision XL. You can get full body paint on this floor plan. And we're actually gonna take a look at the 36C. Okay, cause that's a new floor plan, That's right? a new floor plan, yes sir. When you go from Vision to Vision XL, you're getting the 22.5 inch right. tires. You still get the slam latch doors, but it's on a bigger chassis. Yep. So it's gonna be better. There you go, sir. Okay. Sir William. Oh, this is a weird floor plan. Is it? Yeah. You know which one they're replicating in here? The uh, yes. Tiffin Allegro 34 PA. Oh, okay. So nice cockpit area. Yep. They did the farmhouse interior in here, which isn't new, but this floor plan's new. Look, you got like the sofa seat and yeah. the theater seats. So this is a trifold, right? Yeah. Yep. yep. And the sofa seats and a dinette. What is nice, what they did well is the dinette's right here, but the TV's actually right, right there. But what's weird is, oh no, this one's bigger than the 34 PA. Okay, so this is actually a bath and a half unit as well. Nice. You I are, thought it was going to be a double bath. Right, you are able to get the um, stackable. stackable. Then you have the bathroom back here. 30 by 36 shower. Okay. I'm not, I'm not loving it. This ain't McDonald's, Will. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, it's okay. I'm not crazy about that whole... Um, like watching TV over the dinette. Yeah, and the whole living room setup, really. You know, my opinion, the 34G is the most superior floor plan. Or the 36A with bunk beds. Right. When it comes to the Vision XL. Still nice. Oh, of guess, course. And guess what, Will? RV1's still going to sell it. Of course. The next Class A gas motor home we're going to take a look at isn't new or exciting. It's tried and true. They're absolute bestseller, and we just haven't had one on the show, so I wanted to take the Hershey opportunity and show everybody. This is the Forest River Georgetown GT7 36K7. This is your traditional bath and a half. This is your competition to the Bounders, to the Vacationers, to the Allegros. So let's take a look at the inside. Cool. Nice Hello. full body paint. Full body paint standard. Oh, wow. No, I lied. Oh, man. No, no, no. I'm getting a little confused. Okay. This one has bunk beds. Right. So first, I love the dinette. I Again, do like guys, that dinette. It's not used shape, but it's nice and comfy. Look at that storage right there. You got your theater seats. 
directly across from your TV. Nice, great kitchen here. Looks also, really the nice. Bunk beds right here that do flip up. Nice. Very nice. Bath and a half. Two full bathrooms. Two full baths. So this is competing with your Bounder 36F and everything. That's so funny. I thought the 36K7 tilt of view bed right here. Okay. Yeah, bunk beds, two full baths, and a gas motor home. That's great. Again, guys, this might not be new, but it is exciting to us, and that's why we wanted to take this opportunity to show you the Georgetown GT7. Great, so those were all the new and exciting Class A gas and diesel motorhomes that we saw for 2022. Do us a huge favor, guys. We're in the parking lot of Best Buy, and we want to know what Class A gas and diesel motorhomes you liked on our list and which ones you didn't like on the list. Please leave down in the comments below. It's out here pouring in the rain, but we had to make this video for you. Also, again, 50% off my waggle down in the description below. And then finally, if you like what's new and exciting, make sure you guys join us tomorrow on Matt's RV Tobles to check out all the new and exciting fifth wheels for 2022. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey everyone, we are here at the Hershey RV show and a fan, customer, friend was walking by and she said that she has a my waggle and it worked great. And I was like, well, what do you mean it worked great? It's good that it works great, but you said it different. She said it worked great. So customer testimonial time, tell us the story. I left the RV to go food shopping. I got the alert that the power went out and it ended up being out for hours and I was able to go back and get my dogs. Nice, and where were you? I was in Sturbridge, Massachusetts. Okay, and what was the temperature at the time? About 78. Okay, okay. So, you know, with sunshine, listen, even though it's 78 degrees, you guys see me do these RV reviews and it can get hot in the camper. And yes, everything probably would have been okay, but if you were in Las Vegas, Nevada, or Florida in the summer, or if you were in Massachusetts in the winter, it definitely could have gone south quick. Absolutely, we full time, so we look forward to it in the winter as well. Nice, nice, you full time? We do. What, what type of RV do you have? We have a Cedar Creek 38 EBS. Nice, nice, and so then what did you do after you got the notification? I went back and I just brought them in the car with me and ran my errands. And how long was the campground out of power for? Uh, probably a good six to seven hours. There you go. Even though she was at a campground and even though she was hooked up to power, there's things that can still always go wrong that we have no control over. Thank you so much for telling us. You're welcome. Thanks for showing us the product. Awesome.